Another one of those. What have you done, bud? Lulu hasn't had much sleep because Lulu had lots of tequilas last night. Okay. And Chardonnay. It's Thursday morning. That's the problem, though. So that's a Wednesday. That's a Wednesday blowout. That's a cheeky... Fuck. What? I just sniffed again. Ugh, grubby little fuck. I just went... Give me that mic. Yuck. Yeah. Let's talk about that and not me. Nah, let's let's go back to you. I just... I, I went out um, for dinner. Went to a nice restaurant. With who? Went on a date. With your girlfriend. <gasps> Excuse me? Senorita. Senorita went on a date. <laughs> Senorita went on a date. Yeah. With who? Just a guy. <laughs> Just a guy, Dutch. What's his front and back name? No, I'm not telling that. The bedwitters will go. That middle name. The bedwitters will go harass him. What's his tax file number? I can and tell you passport. that. Have you got his passport? I've got his passport number. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us his passport number, front and back name. ABN. I need the ABN. I need a dress. You want his family tree? Phone number. I'd love that family tree. You yep. got it. Um, you want to meet his parents? Should I get them in next pod? I would. I'd also like a biopsy of his skin. Yep. I'd love a skin sample. And uh, something. Yeah. And also a semen deposit. Just thinking that would be the next step. Okay. That's okay. I'm sure um, third date round I can ask him for that. I, I think it it's... feels appropriate. Well, that's... It goes from like shaking hands to kiss on the cheek to I need a deposit of your semen, a biopsy of your skin. I also need all, all of your personal information. And That's don't forget I, the family tree. Yeah. Most important. Beautiful dinner. Sean's Panorama in Bondi if anyone wants to go. Okay. Is mm. it flash joint? It's pretty flash. And so Who paid? Um, so what happened at the um <laughs> dinner was so the, at Sean's you have to order entree main and dessert. It's mm. kinda like a set menu. And like to be fair, like I'm Pretty, like, comfortable around him. Like, we were, like, laughing and whatever. Anyway, I'm like, you know when you're eating your meal, you're trying to be, like, quite proper? Still very early days. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. It's, like, yeah. second date or whatever. Yeah. Um, and so I ordered the fish, and I'm, like, eating it away, and I'm going, Ugh. I'm eating the fish and then the other piece of fish, and I go, these two pieces of fish really don't taste the same. They've got very different textures and tastes. Like, I can't work out which is which. And he goes, that's potato, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> what a worry, man. So I'm eating this barramundi yeah. and then there's a giant deep fried bit of potato and I'm you going, are a worry. two pieces of fish, I can't work out which is the barramundi and what's going on? And he's like, that? How? That is potato. How? How? I don't know. As a fully fledged adult woman, how do you not know the difference between also pulling you up? Fish on a date? What do you mean? Fish on a date. Rank, bruh. Why? You're a crook, cunt. Why? Fish on a date. Oh, fish breath kissing. Little kid kissing fish breath. You serious? <laughs> on a Wait, date. Wait, you wouldn't order fish on a date. It, 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 so I wouldn't order fish now. And I've been with Steph for damn near five years. Sorry, Judge. Y- you can fucking order fish with your girlfriend. Yeah, I'm just, I'm playing it up yeah, a little bit. You're hamming it. But you're gamming. I'm a bit gamming a bit, but. but What's wrong with me date ordering? Date is like first date fish, f- fish time. You miss me with that, bud. But, but it's like, it'd be the same as ordering it's a wild like. wild choice. It'd be the same as ordering like a beef, a braised beef. Nah, it's still a very that's, heavy meat that's in your not, mouth. It's buddy. It, it is. It, because do you want, to te- want me to tell you the distinction? And this is going to convince you. Well, one's you. a cow and one's a fish. That's also a very good point, Louisa. And I respect your knowledge of the different meats. Yes. Which you seemingly didn't have last night. Mm-hmm. You ever walk past, say someone's smoking meat on a Sunday morning. Mm. You walk past, you're with your friends. You walk past, they're smoking meat. You can hear them having a jolly time up there. They're chatting, they're conversing. You're like, wow, I wish I was a part of that group of friends. That's And you go, oh. That smells good. That smells so good. I wonder what they're cooking. Oh, they're Someone's braised. Got a barbecue, meat. Or a, or a big pork. A big pig, pork thing, pig you know, ping on a spit. You smell it and you go, oh my God. You ever walk past fish markets? <laughs> you ever walk past fish shops in the fucking mall? I do every day from work when I go and get my coffee. I walk past a fish shop in the fucking mall. But- Hold on, darling. Let me finish. In the mall, and I go like this, and I go, I'm like, oh, my, I'm like, fish truly smells fucked. But it's, that's the difference. But it's it was a cooked fish. I'm not having like. I understand. But, so you wouldn't go out and order sashimi on a date. What if you're going to fucking raw bar? Yeah, I'll order sashimi. Yeah, 
Difference. Pointed case. Nah. Difference. No, I disagree. Fish you, had a, fish. Oh, you had a full fish meal. But it wasn't. What was the fish? Barramundi. Barramundi. Yeah. It wasn't fishy. River fish. <laughs> Little river fish. Not happy with it. I'm not happy with it. If <laughs> I was out with a bird, she <laughs> orders fish on the first date. I'm going, okay. Yeah, oh shit. Mum? Down the well? And last you can't help? I'm coming! <laughs> <laughs> he didn't flinch when I ordered the fish. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't flinch either, but it, it'd be a mental note. Well, at the end, it, you had to pick the dessert, and we were both so full that we just ordered the cheeses each. And like, there was obviously like blue cheese. And then I'm not kidding you, one of the cheeses smelled like someone had taken their shoes off. Bro, it was some of the cheese, some cheese is, blue cheese is fucked. Yeah, it was very strong. But did he, when you kissed, did he just kiss the back of your head? He's like, nah, not that, too, bit fishy. <laughs> It or he just kisses you on the forehead. <laughs> yeah, great date. See you, buddy. Pat's your. It head. was a beautiful fish. All right. It was beautiful food. Okay, at it's Sean's. just an odd. It's an odd choice. I don't I, see I, the problem. I know, I know you don't. I, I. I know. Could you be nice to me? I've had three hours sleep. This is when I take advantage. This is when I really prod the bear. You're poking. I, I poke the bear. You're poking. Thank you. You're vibing. You're sizzling. Sorry? S- season? So, I mean, like, you're being serious, but... Oh, okay. You're you've abbreviating you... again. Yeah. Sounded like scissoring. No. Uh, that'd be tough. <laughs> um, but, uh, hey, can I also say something? I, I, I would never order the fish when I'm out on a... An, anywhere. So even... Yeah, the, never. You wouldn't go to the Rojo and order the fish and chips? It, it, never. Why? I love a good fish. I'm not a fish. I'm not a fishman. Like I'm not. I'm not a fishman. Just imagining you at sea, land ahoy! <laughs> yeah, fisherman, an old fisherman. Yeah, like I, I just, I just. There are so much better options to me. Like fish is always the bottom of the barrel for me. Fish is like up there with one of the top things I'd order from the menu. That's fucked up. A good fish is a good fish. Yeah, it's just I'd rather beef, pork, chicken. Every every day of the I can't, week. Honestly, can't Lamb. Even, Oh, he got like I think it was called like a hoggett stew. Yeah, that's what he so got. A lamb stew. Yeah. Do you, you um? That. Do you do you like love this bloke or? <laughs> <laughs> that segue. <laughs> oh, amazing. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, I'm proud of you, buddy. Thank what you. a fun little night. Look, I, I had a couple of whiskeys last night. Yeah, you had some people up to the new home. I had people up to the new crib. Didn't think to invite me. Well, I knew you were out, uh, the hot girl in the town, you know what I mean? Good well, point. it was actually Steph's thing. Steph was like, oh, I've got the, some of the girls coming over. And then it was literally, like, I'm a, ch- I'm a child. Because mm. I was like, oh, and then she was literally t- told me, she's like, Eddie's coming. Shout out to Eddie, yeah. the Hello Sport Podcast. <laughs> One of my great old mates. She's like, Eddie's coming. I'm like, oh. Yes, like I've got a friend coming. Like I've got a, like, oh, my friend's coming yes. over. Yes, like mum's having her mates over, and you're like, yes. So I'm like up there, like vacuuming my man cave and shit. Like it's, and then like because they haven't seen the place, so then and I've got my own man cave, like my own loft, and it is truly, it is, truly my happy place. But if you walk up there, you're like, this looks like a 15 year old boy's bedroom. Oh yeah, like there's a huge TV in the fucking thing. Isn't it got a sign that says like Jarchi or something? No, I was going to get a neon sign, but I found these neon lights. That's so I right. put neon lights in. I've just decked it out with all my shit. I've got like 60 hats, 50 of them being country trucker caps, all along the fucking wall. Mm-hmm. Like, I've, it, I've put my Cobras, all my cutters up on the wall. Like, is it a, a one bedroom with the man cave? It's a two bedroom oh, with the man with the cave. Man, so Steph has the office. She's got an office. Her tutor own. Yeah. And so oh. you crawl up the stairs to get up the into my man cave, and so when crawl Ned, up the stairs, like because they're like those wooden stairs up into the loft where you've got to like say, climb up. That's cringe. What? You're like crawling on all fours up the stairs. That's what it looks like, dude. So it's literally like a child. And I was literally Ed came in. I'm like, dude, it was almost like a kid being like, come, come and look at my room. <laughs> like, and then did come, you and guys like, just going, sit up there, <laughs> and then the girl sat downstairs. Well, we sat up there for a bit, and he was like, he's like, this is good, buddy. How fun's this, buddy? <laughs> and I'm like, let's go down and socialise. Yeah, and I'm like, and Ned, look at my Steve Irwin statue. And Ned, I've put um, all my favourite things up here. See look all at my this. Ha- like, do you know what this is? This is reminding me of Step Brothers 
when they're up the top in the treehouse <laughs> and then the brother, the brother comes upstairs and he's like, I haven't had a carb since 2004. Yeah. You want to touch these bad boys? That's, and we're sitting up there just Watching cross-legged the reading porn. Watching magazine. Uh, it was Steph's head popped up. Dinner's ready. We're like, fuck off. Yeah, we're not ready, Mom. No, we actually, we, we, we just saw it. We didn't hang, up, hang out up there. But we just sat down. And then it was just like the girls were at the table having dinner. And they're like, you boys are going to have to eat on the couch. And we're like, oh, no. Oh, that sucks. Just oh, me and Ned talking to each shame. other. shame. Which was the grousest thing. Yeah. And then, you know, when you just fall into a... He was like, oh, we'll have a whiskey. I'm like, yeah, I'll have a whiskey. But doing that, Kook's plans. Because I was like, okay, I'll be up yeah, tomorrow at five. Up early. I was up tomorrow at five. I'm like, I'll go get some fucking shit done. Then pick up Lulu, podcast, boom. Day started fresh. Even just those three, four whiskeys, it just changes your sleep, I reckon. I'm not complaining. I know you've had you three... You want to talk to me about sleep, buddy? You want to talk to Lulu about sleep? <laughs> Try having three hours and then speaking. Can I say something? Now, this and is, mixing alcohol. This is going to be a compliment. Mm. You, you look good. You very rarely look real fucked. The one time you've looked... Real fucked, puffy. I've, and that's really the only time I've ever seen you look fucked. You cu- you bounce back really well. Was that when when you did the drunk podcast? You were puffy and yeah. fucked then. Like your eyes, you could see it in your eyes. Yeah. Whereas I looked more fucked than you this morning, and I've had seven hours sleep. I'm piss fit. Yeah, you are. Pi- you are piss fit. Which is it, it's not a good place to be. I, or to be fair, I had probably half a bottle of shard. Shard. Chardonnay. Oh, thank God. Shard is another term for crystal methamphetamine. <laughs> Ice. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just Half you, a bottle of Chardonnay. Sure maybe you abbreviated something. Five tequila sodas. Tequi so And a Negroni. Oh, and then another tequila. Oh. I had a fair amount. I had a lot, Judge. Yeah, true. We went back to his and we started watching Boiler Room. You know, like Fred again and like... Fat Boy Slim, and they just play these like crazy, outrageous like sets. Yeah. But the best part about them is watching the people in the background, not watching the DJs, watching all these fucked up people in the background being like, "Oh, dude!" And they're just so drunk and fucked that but they don't know they're being filmed, and it's the cringiest thing I've ever seen watching everyone in the background. Do you we know like spots on out. We're like, look at them, back left, back left. Look at the one in the yellow. Do you do that in movies? Yeah, and you look at the watching extras. the extras, dude. You're like, eh. dude, watching the extras. When I fully got into that, it's all, it almost ruins movies. I know, now you can't. Because you just want to watch them and be like, let's see how good a performance this extra thinks they're going to put in to be like, now I'm this will get me a job. So they'll see like, they're like, okay, the building's obviously crashed and the extra's like, ah, 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 and you're like, little, little march, buddy. But also, you got to start somewhere. You do. But like I love watching extras. That would be Leonardo extras. DiCaprio back in the day. Nah, he was just... Crushing it from day. No, I don't think he went straight to. Bro, he did fucking what's eating Gilbert Grape at like six, fifteen or sixteen. Did he go straight to being Jack? No, you did. uh, Did you not just hear exactly what I said? No, all I heard was he's eating Gilbert. Well, he did, but the basketball. What's eating Gilbert Grape? He plays the autistic kid. It's one of the greatest performances. It's honestly, I think that he should have got an Oscar for that. Dior, have you seen that movie? I haven't seen that one, no, but I've heard about it. It's fucking unbelievable. We studied it at school. So that, well, can I we actually, it. Dior, can we actually get up what was Leo's first movie? Dior's smart. He's a good producer. He knows his shit. I wish Kevin was here. Oh, fuck. Just a little cuddle. Is there anything else I could hold on to? Like a pillow? <laughs> or something? Can I come sit on your chair? No. Again? Oh, come on. No, buddy. Come no. on. No, no, no. You know we can fit. You yeah, I do. It'll but- be fun. Could I, could I put that on? You want to put this jacket on? I, I just like to drape it on myself. It actually is very comfortable. No, you keep it on. That's okay. You sure? Yeah, no, that's fine. It's I really like your warm. ring. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Do you like this jacket? My mate Coco gave me this jacket. I do like Parrot it. Parrot Gin. Shout out to Parrot Gin. I do like it's it. It's got a mad big thing on the back. Look. Oh, yeah. And a hood. Oh, yeah. I'd like some Parrot Gin. We'll get you some. Thank you so much. Oh, no. Dior, what was so, it? Yeah, so Leo, well, he was a bit of an actor as a child in 1979. Oh. Wasn't he a he Disney was in, guy? Uh, nah, he was in a show called Romper Room. 
romper room. Like, which yeah. I think is just a kids show. And it then sounds not like, like a, a few kid's TV show. episodes of stuff in 1990. And then I think. Well, he was in a show called Parenthood for 12 episodes. So that would have been his first major role. Okay. And then I think 1991 looks like this was his first film, Critters. Critters? Okay. This, the tiny furball aliens that will eat anything or anyone that sets their sights on them. Um, so Sounds like, like a, Lord 8. Yeah, like those, what are those other ones? The Gremlins <laughs> or whatever they are? Gremlins, yeah. Yeah, that kind of vibe. So wait, if Leo was born in, what year was he born? 74 he would yep. have been yeah 16 in 1990 16 yeah so that and then what's eating gilbert grape was 93 there you go yeah then probably i blacked bust. out that was his first like i missed this whole movie. combo yeah sorry Bed with basically Lil- leo isn't an extra and wasn't an extra he there we go thank actor. you yeah. my point proven and also lou was just just taking as we dior was explaining what we'd asked him to explain very diligently lou was taking selfies of herself with fucking speed dealers on so that's what we're dealing with today, crew. That's, that's what we're dealing with. I just, I think this has got to be the last time I'm hungover. It's been about four podcasts in a row. Miss me with that shit, bud. It's been about four in a row. Yeah, this just sounds like me on a fucking Monday. It, you know what's going to be fun is what? I'm going out Friday night, but you're going out Friday, Saturday. So you're going to be a dusty human when we record next week. <sighs> I'm going to be fucked. I'm going to Gladstone, Central Queensland this weekend. I'm hosting the night for the Alpha Blokes, their first live show. And there are a couple of loose units. Knuckles from CTC is going to be there. He's a fucking wild cunt. Like, it's just, it's going to be a wild show. Mm. So I'm a little nervous. I'm a little socially nervous. Mm. You know you know what I mean? But it'll You'll be, be phenomenal. It'll be, thank you, Lulu. We're being really nice to each other today. Oh, by the way, I'm also doing a, a live Actually, I'm not going to say that because people listen to both the podcasts. I know what you're doing. You told me. It's all good. I didn't want to be part of it anyway. Don't. <laughs> that. Hey, everyone. Jachi and I are going to write another rap. <laughs> yeah, we'll figure something out. I've got a good idea. We'll just sit down and write it together. Okay. Um. Ma- maybe I'll write it. No. Okay. I've got some good ideas. Okay. Yo, yo. This is a piece of blue cheese and now we're going to eat it with... <laughs> Cream cheese. Oh, not good. Should have blue cheese. You should have said eat it like two G's. T- two G's, and then we're gonna roast some peas. Things happen. No, but not that. Cozy, cozy. Live, laugh, love. Dance like no one's watching. <laughs> if I walk into someone's house Fuck and me. they had dance like no one's watching. Oh, mate. Up as a f- fucking framed canvas, I'm I'm Lulu's turning around. I'll moonwalk out the motherfucker and, and make you watch. I will do a little pit bull shuffle and out the door. What's the pit bull shuffle? You know how I'm gonna stand up. For yeah, the I'd, like, I'd like to. Pit bull does like when he's singing his song. So like we at the hotel motel, and then he does this little like. Yeah, the Spanish. Like, yeah, the Spanish dance thing. And he can't move. I reckon you got a real crush on the on the pit. Oh, it's getting a bit out of hand. I, yeah. I've been Googling when he's live. Yeah, Lou was literally in the car over here. She's like, Judge, he's playing in Las Vegas on November 24th. We've got to go. And I'm like... Oh, so you weren't keen. Do we, do we have to go? Well, I'll go to Vegas, absolutely. Yeah. Well, any um, airlines or Pitbull's management, if anyone's listening, we would like to come to the Pitbull concert and we will... Promote your business to go to the Pitbull concert on the 24th of November in Las Vegas. Sounds desperate. I'll be as desperate as I have to be for this. Desperado, despacito. Can you imagine us front left? The pit doing the little shuff. Okay. And there's you and I. You abbreviate a lot, I've realised. Yeah. You can't be bothered saying shuffle. Nah. Yeah. Okay. I can't be bothered saying Pitbull. <laughs> I'll just say the pit. Pit. Pit, front left, shuff. Yeah. We Lost mean vague? vague hotel, hot, flight, fly, quant, quant on the quant, yeah, fly quant. We're flying quant. We're we're flying. We're, fly, we're, fly, we're, fly, we're flying Eddie. Yeah. Had red light, green light. Turn your phone on airplane mode when sleeping. Red light, green light. Turning your phone on airplane mode when you're sleeping. Ah, uh, green. Red. Why? 
you've got to have it on Do Not Disturb. Imagine if an oh. emergency happened, oh, okay. someone calls you, no chance of getting through to you. At least when it's on D&D, yeah. you call three times if you're not a favourite and you get through. Imagine, is Because my thing is, is I'm, gonna, I'm moving out on my own. What if, I, what if something happens and I tried to call you in the middle of the night? Oh, yeah. And, yeah. Okay. and I'm your red. phone's on aeroplane mode and then you wake up and I'm dead. Yeah, I get. So I do have it on Do Not Disturb. Mm. That's what I've got it on. But you know what I did, what I did yesterday without realising? Oh, it's on Do Not Disturb now, I think. I had my shit on Do Not Disturb for fucking like three quarters of the day. And then I opened my phone and I had that many fucking messages and shit that I just hadn't seen. 400 from me? A lot from you, but heaps. And I was just like, um, it felt good not having to see my oh. phone go off so much. I couldn't handle that. Like I turn it on every now and then to be like, okay, everyone fuck off, but i got to be in the know. I'm mostly everyone fuck off and then I'll get to my phone when I need to do stuff. Mm. I'm not, are you a big phone, like talker on the phone? I hate when people call me. So I hate it. I'm not a big phone Just talker. Just send me a text. Yeah. Just send me a bloody... I actually prefer FaceTime. Same. Because you get the I'm emotion. seeing you. Like, I prefer to see you. I agree. Because on the phone, also, when I'm on the phone to someone, I can get distracted and start doing shit. And oh, mate. They'll be talking to me and I'll go, yeah, 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 yeah. Mate, fully. I'm, and then I'm fucking texting or fucking, or Instagram, I'm bloody, you know. Reels. I prefer to FaceTime people. But I'm not. Yeah, people always get upset at me because I'm real bad with my phone. And like. I just don't even care anymore. I'll just text you eight times and know that you'll reply when you need yeah, to. Yeah, I have told you that, though. And if I call you, then you know it's important. 100%. But, yeah, don't sleep with the airplane mode. Yeah, okay, I like that one. If someone, if something happens... Yeah, that's true. You wake up in the middle of the night, yep. try to call you, yep. some fucking emergency's happen, your phone's on airplane mode, you wake up at 9am and there's been a bloody hurricane in Potts Point. Yeah. The, the. And, and you've, you've <laughs> slept through it. <laughs> Sometimes I just love, I love letting you go. <laughs> where my brain it just goes. Sees, just to see where that thing's going to take you. Because uh, it yeah. took you to a hurricane. Oh, you'll love this. The waitress last night, she was so nice. She was Scottish. Yeah. Oh, you didn't. <laughs> she's telling us about her, like she's Glasgow and she's like, you got to go here, righty, right. And I go, is the guy from The Simpsons who wears the kilt, the, the, oh. the, the caretaker? I was like, is he oh. Scottish? You are six. Yeah, and then the guy I'm on the date with is like, out of everything she's saying, like about her beautiful hometown, you jump in and say, is the guy from The Simpsons? Oh, my God. Is he Scottish? And she was like, yeah, he is. Yeah, she, what she would have done was she would have been like talking to you and then she would have realised that you've taken nothing in of her culture or anything like that. And she would have gone, Yep, no, he's, he's he's Scottish. I'll talk to you later. You sound just like her. She was so nice, phenomenal waitress, really good. <sighs> you probably highly offended her. Probably. Yeah. Sorry. Which is fine. So sorry. Everything's fine. Um, okay, red light, green light. Asking. This one was sent in by one of my good old mates, Robbo. Asking for cutlery. At Asian cuisine. Uh, I wouldn't do it because I'm quite good with chopsticks, but I understand so you probably need a fork. So it's got to I'm be, a huge grain. Yeah. I would get a fork every time. So would you like stab a piece of sushi with your fork? I don't even use I, I, so just, chopsticks. I just use my hands. What if, so what would you need a fork for if you got like Sweet a... Sweet sour pork. If we got Chinese, you know what I mean? So, if we yeah, Chinese so you're, you're bad with choppies. Yeah. But also, but also, you can't touch them because they're wood. Some of them are plastic. Yeah, correct. I don't really like the wood. Oh, some are plastic. Like plastic. But I just pref- did you say plasty? Mm-hmm. It's no quicker. That's still two syllables. I okay, like it. buddy. I like it. Stop with the shit. All right? Don't. <laughs> don't. <laughs> but also, chopsticks. Don't get into this. Judge. I mean, once the fork was invented, surely you were just love like, chopsticks. let's upgrade this. I love chopsticks. They're fucked. They're not. They're hard. you just got to learn to use them, mate. I, They're I can great. half use it. Like, I'll get one thing and I go, oh, finally, I've learned how to use them. And then I'll go for the next thing oh, and then no. they go. <laughs> the way you just put your, fi- like, grow up. You're calling me Can't, a child? You just, I, uh, You're calling me a child? What, for not being able to use? Learn how to use chopsticks. Why? Get culture. Why would I? 
Got why, you going in Japanese? Use the chops. Why would I look? It's, use the chops. Use the chops. <laughs> Think about this. Chopsticks, right? When there was... Get off your phone. I was getting my red light, lady. green lights up. How, how, many, how many armies are still using bow and arrows? The Hunger Games. What? Well, they are. Katniss Everdeen goes. <laughs> you live in a in a fairy tale. I know. Right. Sometimes I. They had bow and arrows. Now they're using guns with the chopsticks. Once the fork came around, surely they were like, "We got to use a fork here." No, that's their culture. I disagree, Josh. You think about like sushi or dumplings. Uh, are you stabbing those with a fork? I just use my hands You're for a, a dumpling a dipping in sauce. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're a fucking child. Yeah. <laughs> and a grub. What? It Yeah, red, my, my turn. Red light, green light, three point turns in the middle of the street. Well, it depends on. But just like an arrogant, like, ride in the middle of the street when you could just like drive into a driveway. Oh, I see what you mean. So it's not necessary. You're just doing it. Because you're lazy and like, you, there's a, there's, there's a, there's a driveway right there that yep. you're going. Red. Green. Ah, oh, I fucking knew it. Gianni's small, though. Like, he can do a four pointer. But, he can. Zin, 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 zin. But you shouldn't need to. The smaller you are, the e, it my should be per, a one per, pointer. Per, my perifs aren't great. With those fucking goggles. What do you mean? Your eyes. Yeah. Your big eyes. How come your perifs aren't great? I just, I, I'm not aware of the space around me. Well, we know that. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. But so, like, I, I, I could probably just go zoom and zoom all the way around, but I'll always reverse again to go, just in case I... That's don't fucked. Don't want to hit the car. That is fucked well, up. Well, I don't, I don't, I, I don't want to hurt Gianni, and I don't want to hurt the other car. But you, you've, but if you don't need to, why would you? Well, I, I, I'm not 100% sure. Like, I'm like, probably if someone's standing on the you road, a there's driver. a big space... But like I'm just like oh you can't really tell when you're in the passenger in the driver's seat. <laughs> That's when you can tell the most. That's when you can tell the most. I would disagree. You're in control of the vehicle. But but you can't see over that side, you know. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I I don't, mate. If you can just not do that, don't do it. I would just al- turn it. I'd always pull back a bit. Gianni back Just in case I have been in a car with you And noticed that I'm like dude You're, you're fine You're okay And you all go Stop <laughs> There's fucking 30 Someone cars Someone goes to me <laughs> They go Oh like, you can drive my car And I was like Oh but you know Like sometimes when you hop in a new car You like accidentally Put your foot on the accelerator Instead of the brake And he goes No, no. <laughs> You, no, you don't I even don't. have a clutch I, I don't you understand got, that You got two pedals And then he was like Maybe you won't drive my car. Yeah. No, no, no. But do you know what I mean? Like you hop in a new car and you're like, oh, fuck, which is go, which is stop. No. Oh. Because it's all the same. They're all the same. Well, uh, hang on. You ever driven a manual in your life? Yeah, I learned in a manual. Fuck off. I learned in a manual. No, you didn't. Yeah, I got 15 lessons and you were meant to get five. Oh, mate. <laughs> I actually can't believe you actually. I used to drive you Jill's can- Alfa Romeo. Hoon it around. I went through the drive through and stuff. I cannot. That blows my mind. That I can drive a manic. Yes, mate. Because you just. What are you calling a manicure? A manic. <laughs> um. Yeah, I can drive a. We could if you if you had a manual, we could go out now and I'd show you. Fucking bullshit, mate. Let's do that. You this just is- said to me you didn't know whether a new car you would put your foot on the right or the left pedal. Now you add another pedal to the equation. You think I'm trusting you in that shit? I can drive a manual. I can drive a manual. There'd be a lot of... No. <laughs> you go <laughs> first, <laughs> second, <laughs> third, <laughs> fourth, and then you're cruising. Coming up to the light, oh, brake, get it down into third, oh, put the clutch in. I have to say it to believe it. We'll do it. We'll film it, and me and Emmanuel. We, we, we do this all the time. No, we will. Once you quit your job, we can have fun together. Yeah, that's correct. Once, that's, that's going to make this a lot easier. We'll uh, actually do things. We could just go after this, you know? If you didn't have work. That's correct. Yeah. Well, red, red to that bullshit turning stuff, you've got to grow up. Okay. 
red light, green light. Doing that little run that's no quicker when crossing the road in front of a car. You know that little hoppy run? Because you it's just a way to say thank you for letting me like so you're at a T T intersection, there's a car there, and they're like they wave you like, come on, let you go, and you go, thanks. And you do that little run, but it's really probably no quicker than just can, walking. walking and waving. I want to say red, but hands down, I would do it. I do it every time. Yeah, so I, I'd be have to go green. I do it every time. Yeah, well, th- oh. yeah thank you. And I go I'll like, rush. I go like, I'll rush for you. Okay. You do the pit bull shuffle almost. Yeah, you do the pit. <laughs> you do the pit shuffle. Jarch just got up and did the shuffle for everyone. That's the part. But do you know what I mean? That little run. Because yeah. it's no quicker than the walk. I, I'm saying green because I, I, it's annoying, but I'm sure I do it. I just think it's polite to let them know that you're putting in an effort because they've allowed you to cross the mm. road. Oh, man. I got really annoyed the other day where I was trying to merge like a zip. And I knew that this girl saw me just put full put her perifs on as if I wasn't even next to her Perifs. and just zoomed straight in front of me. And I... I don't know who it is. It's either my ex-boyfriend or you. Someone's giving me, or tour, terrible road rage. Like, if anyone heard what the shit that I say in my car on my own when someone doesn't let me in is fucked. Yeah. Like, like so angry yeah, yeah, yeah. for no reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, like, I'm, a, I'm the Hulk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, enraged. Mate, what you yelling. saw this morning when that bird pulled out in front of me. I had to maintain my thing, but I was just. Yeah, I'm. I'm worse than that. <sighs> Some of the language that comes out of my mouth. Is oh yeah, not it's something wild. that a a, a pretty a, a lady like a pretty lady. woman like me would do. Huh? Mm-hmm. A what? A pretty woman. Pretty woman walking down the street. Pretty woman. Red light, green light. <laughs> Purple power aid. Green. Red. You're not getting blue or red, you're a murderer. And I, it's my theory. You're We've te- always said it. You're telling me you're telling me grape isn't lit. If you're not getting blue or red. You're Italian. You should love grapes, kiddo. I love grapes, but in the wine form. Kiddo. Hey, kiddo. Hey, buddy. If you're getting perp, I got a theory. If you're getting perp, you're a serial killer. Dude, perp pal. Perp Pal mm-hmm. is what I call it. I abbreviate that. Perp Pal is one of the best flavors. Blue is probably the best. Yes. Oh, if I'll you go in it. there and there's a green, a blue, and a perp. You go on green over perp, you can mate, get fucked. Mate. I'm going lime. Or I'm going it is. blue and red, bottom of the barrel if I have to. Green, then perp. What? Where's orange fit into the equation? There isn't an Oz. Oh, there's an Oz. <laughs> there's an Oz. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think Ozzy would go probably before green. It'd go blue, red, Ozzy, green, perp. Oh, no, you're fucked. See, I'm keeping them in their colours. In like their, what, what are they called? The bloody... N- 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 primary. Primary. Prim- <laughs> so where were you going? I was trying to think of the rainbow. Yeah. But I'd go, I'd probably go blue, red, blue, red, perp, green, orange. Blue, red, perp, green, orange. Well, we agree on first and second place, and then we start yeah. to disagree. Then we start to disagree. And we start to decline. But purple's good, the grape, mate. I would never have a grape lolly either. Yuck. What? Do you have banana lollies? Yeah. No. No, you, you're you yeah. going to murder someone. Why? They're banana lit. and grape, Flav? Those little bananas in the uh, party mix. Oh, to be fair, I'd have one of those. But like in New Zealand, do you did you guys have fruit bursts? Oh, when I was in New Zealand, uh, let me fucking check, mate. Um, don't know because you've just confused you for me. <laughs> How fucking hungover are you? <laughs> You're uh, the one from New Zealand. I I'm mean, Australian. Have you ever had fruit bursts? The lollies. Starbursts. Similar probably, and they've got a banana flavour, and they're yeah, wrapped think, in the packet. That'd be lit. Do you fuck with those? Oh fuck yeah! Yeah, what's wrong with you? Heaps, mate. That's number one. No. Yes. N- no. 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 <laughs> no, I'm down with that. The yeah, miss me with the orange and miss green. me with that shit, miss mate. Not my world. You know what I mean? Fucking know what I mean. Red light, green light. 
referring to yourself in the third person. Let's see what she says here. Lulu's going green. Yeah, I know you are, buddy. I know you are. Why? Because I you te- do it a lot. I text you going, Jachi, pick up Lulu. <laughs> no. Well, no, we, that's kind of that's okay. What, what's not okay then? You go like you always talk to yourself like you're talking to yourself. Lulu's very hungover. Or like, excuse me, Louisa. Um, what the hell was that? And you're, so you're talking for someone else. So you'll be like, um, mate, I ordered the fish at a restaurant and I was like, um, hey, Louisa, excuse me, Louisa, what are you doing? And I'm like, what, are you doing the voice of someone else or are you talking about you? <laughs> like that, you know? I know the exact yeah. moment, last podcast, <laughs> when I'm talking about the fill your cup up thing and I go, hey, Louisa, why are you saying that? Yes, that was what... Spurred it. Sparked it. That's what sparked it. I think that's a probe. Oh, mate. I'm gonna fucking... <laughs> oh, I'm going to fucking... A probe. That's very appropriate. to probe. me. I think that's a... Look, it's not a probe. I think it is. Everyone loves a little third purse. Yeah, if you're buying clutches for money, a third purse. Oh. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Nice. But... Third per like, you know, come on, bud. You're better than that. Jachi says no. Lulu says green. Jachi says computer well, says no. What about calling yourself daddy? That's third person. Ha. Daddy wants to do this. I'm daddy, daddy like by that. the way. I'm daddy by the way. But I also do that for but I'll also call you daddy. And then I'll say, You're daddy, by the way. So it's not exclusive to me, D or and I'll say to Louise, I'll say, Mama Bear looks hungry. You're Mama Bear, by the way. You know what I mean? So I spread it out. Yeah, that's still third person, but. But it's not my name. It could be. Daddy Archdale. (laughs) It's got a ring to it. That's the title of the podcast. (laughs) Daddy Archdale. That's it. That's got a ring to it. Uh, My turn? Yes. Red light, green light. Talking at the bottom of the escalator when you bump into someone. You've got to do it sometimes, don't you? But wait, what do you mean? You're, You're like stand stopping, to the side? stopping the traffic behind you. <coughs> oh, no. Move. R- red. Get out of the way. Fuck off. I had a moment where uh, two cute little old elderly, not elderly, like 55-year-old woman, not yep. old at all, sorry, I take that back, stopped at the bottom of their trolley so everyone like, had to move around them for a yarn. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm like, take your convo the arrogance and of that. shuffle 10 metres. The arrogance of that. Take, take your troll and shuffle 10 metres. I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> Please rephrase that. Say it how it should. Take your, sh- t- take your trolley yeah. and shuffle 10 metres. I agree with you, Lou. Yeah, I completely agree. Do the, do the pit bull shuffle. Do the pit shuffle, would you? The, shuffle with your troll. The fucking, um, yeah, you know what really grinds my gears? Mm. Arrogance of other people assuming that you should work around them. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Like people have On the road. Walking. On the road, walking. Like they when, don't when move. people are- They've at, got this dominance. Yeah, and they're not like, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, like considerate. Co- considerate or conscious yeah. of people around them. It's all about them. Yeah. It's, it's, it's their world. We just live in it. That fucking grinds my gears. Yeah. And that, that deserves verbal abuse sometimes. I wouldn't go that far, but oh, I think it, like with people who are just you're like, mate, what are you, what are you doing? Oh yeah, out of the way. Fuck, could you please move? You miss me polite. with that shit. <laughs> miss me with that shit. Do you know I saw a great, I saw a really great example of karma once. This was fucking perf. Chef kiss. It was perf. It was perf af. It was perf as af. Yeah. It was perf af. Perf af. It was perf. It was perf. It was perf as. It was perfection, right? Where I was walking home one day at this roundabout and it was very busy, this roundabout. And now there's this bird in a shitbox car, this young bird, fucking green pea plater. I would have been 22 at the time. So we were young, you know, and you connect with the young when you're young. There was a woman in a Range Rover, would have been middle-aged, trophy wife sort of stuff. 
Now, she's completely somehow, like, I think she might have had right away or something like that, but it was obvious that she should have let this bird go, the young bird go into the roundabout, but she's, like, sped on to the roundabout, the young bird, so she's come on way too hot, way too mm-hmm. fast, and that meant the young bird didn't yeah. get her chance to go on. She had to stop, and she was like, what the fuck? And the girl was like, what the fuck? And I'm like, what is this woman doing? And the chick, like, like threw her head back and laughed the trophy wife and like stuck her finger up at the girl i'm like what a bitch and i sort of looked at the girl and she's like what the fuck like we were just like we were, i was just like what a bitch mm. this chick goes around the roundabout and she's still looking at the girl laughing like fuck you and she goes boom straight up the back of a ferrari and me and this girl look at each other and we both start we were like ah. <laughs> like because it wasn't like the she went at the back of a Toyota Yaris. Yeah. She drives, and the look of shock on her face, when she went from laughing to realise she'd been in a car accident, and it was a fucking Ferrari, it was the most chef's kiss, perf. perfect. Perf, yes. It was perf, man. If you ran into the back of someone's Ferrari. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ferrari. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you didn't have insurance. Would you have to pay for the Ferrari? You'd be in a bit of strife. So that could t- it would be that could potentially cost hundred k. We we we're doing this. We're going to do it the whole podcast. Well, I do abbreviate a lot, but now I feel like it's just happening because yeah. you've you've picked up on it. Yeah, prodding the bear. Yep. I'm pretty daddy. You're daddy, by the way. It's good stuff. <laughs> Like, you would have to pay a lot of fucking bones, especially because the motor of a fucking Ferrari is in the boot, not in the front. So if Why? you fuck up... In the bon. Sorry, that... Lou, I mate. can't help. I'm sorry. In the bonnet. No, no. It's in the boot. It's yeah, in the so back. in the bonnet. Oh, sorry. The bonnet though, is yeah. the front. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. So it's in the boot. Yeah. So the ba- the, fr- the engine's why? in the back, the way they're designed. So then what's I think it's like weight distribution. What's I don't in the bonnet? Know. It's, a, it's a trunk space, but it's a boot. That's funky. So you get your shit in the front, the engine's in the back. So if you're ramming up the back of a Ferrari, mm. you there potential there to fuck with engine shit. And that would be so expensive. Wonder where the petrol machine gauge bit is then. What? You know, the bit where you put the petrol in? Probably in the same place. You reckon? I don't I know. It might change the dynamics. Would the you? The dimensions or something. Why do you reckon that? Just seems like you'd have to put it elsewhere because, like, I don't know, maybe the, like, Chords or whatever, you know, yeah, like cords, lead yeah, yeah. to yeah, different lead to different places. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's in the like actual um, steering wheel, like the front where you sit. You wouldn't have petrol that close to the stereo. You don't think so? Maybe it's in the stereo. Disagree. Why? So lovely. Cozy, 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 cozy. Grape lollies are the best. Ah, oh, thank. Well, deal, yeah. Where the fuck were you? I was gonna say something, but I don't know. Grape I've rules. Got a, I've got a theory about grape flavored things, though, because like, especially purple grape flavored things. Like, you on mic? Yeah, I'm on mic. Good. If we're talking like Zappos, even grape Powerade, those nah. little Japanese lollies. Wait, 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 hear me out. Yep. They're not grape flavored. They just taste like purple. Grapes don't taste like that. That's they don't good. taste like grape. I like things. grapes. Good, good, good theory. I like that, Dior. Yeah, because they don't taste like grape. Yeah. It's a purple flavour. Yeah. Like, that's what purple would f- taste like. I like that. Th- yeah, because they're not grape flavoured. Yeah, exactly. But Dior, I'm glad you're with me on the grape shit. Yeah. Back to the grape stuff. Well, that's like, you'll be able to relate to this, Lou, because it's alcoholic. But you know the <laughs> minus 196s? Yep. Yeah, the new I know gra- them well. Yeah, the new grape <laughs> flavour is a white grape flavour and it sucks. It's not as good as like purple grape flavour because it actually tastes like grapes. Oh. It doesn't taste like purple. You which guys have nice said the flavor. word grape too much. Be with Hotline. Yes, please. All right, let's see what they got. Uh, yeah, just wanted to know what your thoughts are on uh, people who fucking. When you're watching like a TV show. And they, they're on their phone, just listening to shit. Not like fucking just watching videos, like they do that too. But they're fucking listening to fucking new music that's come out. Mm. Like, just put your fucking headphones in. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah. keep pissing. Keep, keep pissing, pissing brother. He makes a valid point. It shits me. If I'm on my own, I'll happily have the TV on and scroll. Oh, yeah. 
But if someone else is there, like, put your headies in or... I didn't even mean to do that one. Yeah, I know, it's getting concerning. Mm-hmm. Um, or um, don't watch it all. Finish that off with a great... Really articulate. Um, <laughs> it was just the way you just, yeah, I, you're so right. That was almost like, that was like MLK Jr. sort of stuff. I was like up there with I Have a Dream. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love that. to create it, something that people say in years to come. You will, but it'll, you, I think you already maybe have, but it'll be in, in jest. Well, I think it's Toby's dead. Yeah, that will, <laughs> that will live on for millennia. In like 3,000 years, there will just be a big Toby's deed and a statue of you and Toby. Yeah, like the Hollywood sign, but it's Toby and I. <laughs> yeah, it's Toby's deed. Toby's deed. And then us <laughs> at the end, and I'm like holding him. But he's dead. Well. I, Steph does this. Oh. So I'll be in the car, and it's just like we're driving along and like just sort of listening to, you know how I like to, I'll just do like sort of, Music in the background, but we're sort of yarning or whatever. And then if I'm, we're sort of over talking to each other, I'll just keep the music at the same level, which isn't that fucking loud. And then she'll just be going through fucking Instagram stories, usually of dead shit influencers talking about what music they had that, that morning. And I'm like, hey, buddy, you reckon you could plug in here? Because I don't want to hear about their fucking muesli choice this morning. Mm, I do this in the car f- with you as well. You're annoying. Yeah. In cars. <laughs> yeah. You are. I'll, I'll put it out there. You're annoying to be around in a car. Um, senorita, who bit my arm today? <laughs> Chachi yeah. did. Just came over and. <laughs> no, you're actually not that. It's kind of fun having you in the car <laughs> because you're an idiot. Yeah. But you are annoying. Mm. But also, I'm annoying. And then it fucking is what it is, and you die. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be my. Yeah, that's be, gonna be on my gravestone. That'll be yours. If it is what it is, then you die. What's going on? <laughs> I just uh, thought I'd give you a quick call. Just heard the latest pod, and um, you know what really fucking fills my cup up? <laughs> well, actually, not fucking, not fucking what's happening right now. <laughs> Fucking Maps is fucking speaking to me, and I lost my train of thought. And that's really <laughs> fucked me up. <laughs> that's phenomenal. You can see the moment he goes, when ah. it's something's cooked. It. He's got the fucking, the well, not the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, good. That made me laugh. What's going on? Oh, that was Jarchi on Senorita. that one. That's old Jarchi that made that Jarchi mistake. Jarchi did a whoopsie. Jarchi did a whoopsie. Don't oh. worry, guys. We'll be back after this song. It's Dua Lipa, be the one. <laughs> um, um, excuse me, Judge. What was with that? <laughs> it's giving idiot vibes. I love that you didn't even catch on that I did the third person thing. Yes, I did. I'm not an idiot. No, before when I did it. <laughs> Don't. Hey, Chance. Uh, hey. Just wanted to give you a second shout out. The call. I um, this is a bloke from down in Victoria. I was generally a wet seat wet up until I was 15. Mm. Not even kidding. Um, my uncle was as well. Apparently, it's in the family. It was a shit time. I hated it. Couldn't say it. There was houses. Um, but I know you just take the piss out of it, literally. We do. But um, I just wanted to say, like, how much it sort of calmed me down about the anxiety around it because you just have a laugh about it. And even though you're taking the piss, it's helped me a lot. Um, That's nice. Charge your top like blue. Yeah. <laughs> Some people that God put on earth to just, I don't know, I don't know why they're here to be honest. No, I'm joking, I love you. You're alright, so just work on your fucking accent. This shit house. Finishes it off with a good point. 
Well, I'm glad that we've been able to yeah, that alleviate was, that some anxiety. Yeah, that got quite deep for a moment. I did for a moment. Good on it. That's what we want. We want the bedwetters to be proud. you got to be make a lot. got to make light of it. Because we're a couple of bedwetters. Mate, to your 15, I fucking did it like fucking three months ago. It was less. It was like a month and a half. Yeah, like a month, like a month ago. Mm. Like last night. I'm doing it now. You've literally pissed the couch while yeah, we've been talking. We'll stand up and there'll be a big wet patch. Nothing better than making light of a serious situation yeah. and generating humour around it. I'm glad we could do it for you. And hopefully other bedwetters feel the same way. One more? Yes. Hey guys, um, I have a little story time for you. So I've been going to the gym and like just chucking my AirPods and listening to your podcast. But unknowingly, I'm like smiling because I'm like laughing at jokes. Because I usually like listen to your podcast in the car and I can just like laugh freely, whatever. But when I'm at the gym, I'm literally smiling. And because my hair is kind of big, it covers my ears. So you can't see I'm wearing AirPods. So I've come to the realization that everyone probably thinks that I'm like actually like a psycho and insane. So I'm just, just smiling to myself smiling. at the gym in between oh, sets. That's so good. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys. Love you. Love you, too. That's amazing. That Everyone's just looking at me like, that girl's really smiling and giggly today. Because if you were just, your hair covering your yeah. ears, and if you were just walking down the street <laughs> just smiling, or just smiling, not even, we, not even laughing. Crazy. That fucking, that. That's a good one. That's a great one. I like that. That's a great one. Well, I'm glad we make you laugh. I'm glad we make, we make you smile. Now, um, that's the pod for this yeah, guys, join us this next of, week. Um, join us next week. There'll be more wacky stuff. Well, waff, waxed, waxed. Yeah, it'll be perf. It'll be perf for the pod next, nexties. Um, and who? It yeah, it's who it's very good. And chat, cha- you just say chow. Hey, and keep it. Thanks for listening, bedwit. <laughs> That's enough. Time for bedtime. We didn't do a spelling word. We don't have to do it every podcast. I thought we were going to do it every oh every week. Yeah, so we'll do it next Tuesday. Who Wednesday? Root. Keep pissing. Ciao. Ciao. Mm-hmm.